Hey, it's Dark Kobe here, and we are here for DK 101, and this is going to be the first, my first solo cast uh, without Ro, but uh, Ro and I will be returning for the DKR StarCraft tournament um, number two around, I guess I would say around the the summer, early summer, the beginning of summer around there. So uh, basically, uh, this these solo casts um, will probably be uh, basically more. Uh, videos about uh, analysis, uh, more educational base, you know, um, just to see uh, the point of view and perspective uh, uh, from a mainly a Protoss point of view uh, because I am my um, main race is Protoss. Um, I might throw in a few, you know, Zerg or Terran uh, analysis here and there, but um, for the most part, I will probably do Protoss. Um, uh, this is basically more helpful for. Um, I guess around the mid to high diamond, uh, that's where I'm currently at and um, because uh, I'm probably going to be analyzing more professional games, it could be helpful for even master players. So uh, basically this is a game between White Raw um, as well as Duck Load Raw, I'm just going to call him right, White Raw, it's more easier, uh, against Virus Satini. So of course uh, Satini is, I, I, heard, I have heard his name here and there but he's not as popular as a uh, White Rot is, as he is a baller Protoss, um, personally my favorite. And so here we're gonna have uh, our first game analyzing with Ducklow Ra's point of view and his uh, basically the his uh, the process uh, um, in terms of what he does in his actions and decisions. So basically he's gonna scout on to the right side as well as Satini and since we are looking at Ducklow Ra's point of view we're gonna go into his player cam. So basically um, it's pretty standard at this point, uh, just throwing down the gateway and um, gas. And basically, uh, one of the great, um, the great uh, things that what the White Rod does is he actually places his pylons at very great um, positions, um, usually around the edge of the, his base. And one of the great positions is right here, where I wish he uh, actually put it a little bit ahead or more forward because uh, there's a little bit space to warp in, but. Um, basically, you put on an edge and you can forward warp um, units here, as well as you can see the sight of any impending uh, attack from the army right here in this path. So, uh, White Rod scouted both uh, um, areas uh, and he's gonna probably know that um, the Terran's base is right here. He did uh, pull back because of a, a Marine. So, um, basically, uh, White Rod's gonna do the standard, he's not going to do any cheese or anything like that, but he's getting his, uh, I guess, standard Zella as well as um, a Stalker. He's going to throw down the second gateway. Now, uh, he's going to grab this uh, Watchtower as this is going to be the main Watchtower in this fight. He's going to scout out the uh, Marines coming up, and so he's going to probably send his uh, Zella over and uh, just chill out his probe around here until his uh, Zella come over. So. He's going to probably position his uh, Stalker right here. As he doesn't really need it at this point for the Marine, but he does see a Marauder coming and he does see the Marauder slow and this gives a lot of, I guess basically a lot of uh, scouting information as he saw he sees three, three SCVs coming. So he knows there's an impending attack, he's going to position his Stalker here and get some, maybe get some free shots. And if a scan goes down, he's probably going to retreat, um, don't want to lose that Stalker. And he barely saves that stalker. So um, he's gonna run over here, get some more free shots, and he is chrono boosting his uh, warp gate as fast as he can. Um, he might have to throw, uh, pull up some probes. So at this point, he sees a bunker, so he got, I mean, he probably feels that he doesn't have enough to deal with this attack as uh, his warp gate is done, but his uh, uh, gateway isn't uh, working yet. And he's gonna pull up some uh, probes. And he's gonna try to defend this attack. He might want to um, focus fire on the SCV right now, uh, but he looks like he's defending the attack. He's gonna um, pull back his probe as uh, the warp gate has finished, so he's gonna be able to hold this attack. Uh, he does want, should have focused fire on that SCV, but um, it looks like the attack is gonna be thwarted off at least at this point. And uh, and it seems like uh, yeah, he didn't want this uh, this monger to go up and. Uh, He's gonna basically try to save the stalker. He can't, but he's gonna try to pull off his probe because uh, he really wants this bunker to be uh, to be um, taken away from his base. He doesn't want to leave that in space, and he's gonna kill that bunker. And he does have some uh, 
some Chrono Boost and you want a Chrono Boost that gateway just to warp in faster and uh, it seems like this attack is going to be thwarted. Great Micro from White Raw and uh, he's going to basically um, chase this Marauder and uh, he's going to use this uh, he's, uh, Stalker just to hit the low ground. He's going to focus fire. Uh, use the use the socket to focus fire on the marine, and use the the Zella to focus fire on the bunker, as the, the Zella has more uh, damage per second. So at this point, White Rod has defended the attack. As we can see in the army, he Satini did commit a lot to that, and it was uh, not as successful as he wanted. And uh, one of the decisions that you could you uh, do right now is you could either gather up some army and do a counter attack, or you can do uh, uh, expand. And um, basically, White Rod is going to expand as you know he's one, he's ahead, but he wants to get further ahead. And um, he is going to pull his uh, two stalkers, as stalkers are the faster units for the Protoss. So he's going to uh, use the stalker just to be able to scout, see what the Terran is doing, he, whether he's uh, basically expanding or or is he turtling. Um, so he's going to scout. He sees nothing. So basically, at this moment, he's going to be probably um, doing Kona boosting his probes out. He does see some marauders up there, so uh, look look for a white rod to throw down a, a robotics uh, uh, facility around here, around sometime in the next seconds or, or minutes. So, so at this point, he uh, he did build a pylon right here just to um, see any uh, drops coming. So again, nice pylon positioning. Um, he's gonna basically at this point just uh, probably probe up, macro up. He's gonna leave his uh, stalker here, the lowest uh, health stalker at the watchtower, because he doesn't want to leave a full life, uh, full health uh, stalker here. So basically, he's gonna be able to retreat, you know, if he needs to. So he's uh, gonna put it there. And uh, as you can see in the harvester, he is ahead. So um, there goes down the robotics facility. He's gonna probably uh, get an observer scout, see what the the Terran is doing in terms of scouting, and and then he's gonna also. Um, move his stalker here. Sees that there are two bunkers, and this, uh, you can safely assume that he's gonna expand at this moment, at this point of the game. So he's gonna leave his stalker here, and uh, just to see if there's any uh, incoming attack, so he will have enough time to warp in units and defend. So the robotics facility is down for uh, White Raw. He is gonna be macroing up, as you can see in the. Um, but he is just getting supply block, which you don't want to. <laughs> Uh, he does see the factory um, going over his base, so this already, this alone already tells you that he is probably going to go for a more barracks, or he's going to uh, gonna go for more of a, uh, a star gate, starport, uh, more play, uh, play, I guess. So at, from this, uh, this factory scouting factory alone, you can see that most likely you can assume that it's going to be more of a bio heavy army that Satini is going for as he could have floated over a barrack instead of a, a factory you know so basically uh, at this point he already knows his, um, his opponent is going more of a bio heavy army and this is uh, the drop that, that uh, Satini is going to do with the great pylon placement to see the drop he's going to pull the probes away just to um, uh, don't, uh, lessen the, the damage and he's going to push this attack away and at this point I'm gonna pause it for a bit at this point you uh, you defend the attack but you also gotta keep in mind what did the, the what the Satini uh, see what did uh, he scout what is uh, he's gonna do in terms of countering so basically he saw I mean it's basically a harass attack but basically he saw the robotics play right here so at this point you know that he knows that you are going for 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 um, uh, robotic bay most most likely colossus so at this point uh you you couldn't make a decision of whether to continue this uh colossus um, play or you can uh, switch up the, the tech path because uh you he probably will have uh, adequate defense or counters to that colossus and um so basically uh, I, uh white rush should be able to throw down uh um going for a different tech path or he's going to continue and it looks like he's going to continue but he's going to scout this and um, he sees that there's two medevacs uh, was going for a drop I'm not sure what um, he was going for us uh, saw or anything but he sees that um, there is a uh, two starport with reactors so what he's going to do is uh, he should yeah he cancels the, the 